A historic venue in St. Paul is going back to its musical roots. The Palace Theater opened as a vaudeville house in 1916. It closed in 1977, opening only for a short stint in the 80s to host a Prairie Home Companion. Now, for the first time in 40 years, it will open to music fans. As WCCO's Reg Chapman reports, the Palace Theater hopes to bring life back to a once vibrant downtown neighborhood. The Palace Theater was the largest theater in downtown St. Paul, where people would come to see acts like Milton Berle and the Marx Brothers. Over the years, one thing that never changed was his grandiose look. The mayor actually was, was fundamental in saving this theater 20 years ago uh, when he was on the city council. St. Paul's director of arts and culture, Joe Spencer, says the push to breathe new life into the heart of downtown St. Paul was the force behind restoring this gym. We're really focused on bringing more young audiences into downtown St. Paul. And, and by focusing on live music, by focusing on, on rock and roll and hip hop and punk rock, uh, we felt that was a great strategy to get young people into St. Paul. Spencer says architects captured the bombed out quality of the theater. We called it arrested deterioration. There's a beauty to the kind of, to the age and the texture that comes with being, a building being vacant for almost 40 years. And we wanted to really capture that. The seated balcony features original seats from 1916 that have been refurbished. Seats from the main floor have been ripped out to make way for standing general admission with four separate tiers flowing down to the stage. We're able to bring in bigger groups that just don't fit in First Avenue. First Avenue General Manager Nate Cran says this venue will bring in superstars and big crowds, something many in this part of downtown St. Paul are starving for. I can't explain to you how welcoming everybody has been, from the people at the St. Paul Hotel, Meritage. These guys are all so excited to have something going on. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Nice. The Palace opens tonight with the group Atmosphere and tomorrow night with the Jayhawks. They're going to rock the stage. First Avenue believes this new venue will make the Twin Cities a destination for groups in all musical genres.